Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friend, it's great to have you tuned into The Morning Show today. Here on The Morning Show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing. Keep singing and sing it some more. For we're God's people, and that's what God's people do. Well, we sing. joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all then he said, sing, from a laugh and hard to sing, when the night is dark to sing, let your joy explode and let music fill the air. You can sing, when there's nothing else to do, sing, when something deep inside of you tells you that life is still a wonder, just go back your head and sing. Then he said, sing, from a laugh and hard to sing, when the night is dark to sing. 
a common man he taught us how we could love one another there was healing in his hands there were those who believed him followed him and there were those who wanted him dead they thought the grave would silence him forever but they found out instead you can close your eyes you can say it's a lie you can stick your head in the sand you can turn away to explain he was just another man when they nailed him to the cross by his hands and his feet and they put him in the ground three days later everybody found out that you can't no you can't keep a good man down no you can't keep a good man Hear you say that it all sounds crazy It's a good story, but it can't be true How could a man who was dead and buried Mean a thing to me and you? Here we are two thousand years later And still the choice is just the same You can say that you don't believe it But it doesn't change a thing No, it doesn't change a thing You can close your eyes, you can say it's a lie You can stick your head you can turn away, even try to explain he was just another man. When they nailed him to the cross by his hands and his feet, and they put him in the ground. Three days later, everybody found out that you can't. No, you can't keep a good man down. No, you can't keep a good man down. They hung him on the cross I can take you to the empty tomb I can tell you he's alive Cause he lives in me But the rest is up to you You can close your eyes You can say it's a lie You can stick your head in the sand You can turn away Even try to explain He was just another man When they nailed him to the cross By his hands and his feet And they put him Days later, everybody found out that you can't. No, you can't keep a good man can't down. Can't keep a good man 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 down. Well, there's Avenue. We had them on the morning show last week, and we really liked those guys. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to the morning show. Today's a holiday, so some of you may have the day off. I hope that you do. But aren't you glad that our father never takes a day off? He never sleeps, he never walks away, and he never changes. He is constant, he is aware, and he is forever. Psalms 102 27 says, but you are the same and your years will not come to an end. Our featured artists this week, well, they are the Taylors and here they are singing about that very thing. Here's their new one, The Same. Glad you're listening to The Morning Show. surround me and fear is calling my name he is the same always the same 
Our friends from Michigan, the Justified Quartet. You know I love that one. It's called Homeland. Hey, I mentioned the Taylors. They are our featured artist of the week. They have a brand new album entitled Love is the Voice that's coming out on Friday, June the 3rd. And guess where they will be on this Friday, June the 3rd? They're going to be right here on The Morning Show. We have an early copy of this project, so we're going to be playing songs from the album all week long here on The Morning Show. And it's the only place you're going to be able to hear it because it's not even released yet. It's not coming out till Friday. We just have an early copy. So if you want to hear anything from this album before Friday, well, you need to be listening to The Morning Show. And this Sunday night, that's June the 5th, there's a big night at Salem Baptist Church here in Lake and this group right here, they're going to be at Salem, and we are excited. It's the Browders. I hope you're making plans to come out to Salem Baptist Church this Sunday night at 6 o'clock. We'd appreciate it if you'd tell somebody, bring a friend with you. Don't miss the Browders. It's going to be fun. Long ago I took the challenge. It's surely worth the call. I counted up the cost. Then I surrendered all. There is a lot invested. I've laid it on the line. I'm all in for the win. This victory is mine. I've come too far to turn back now. I'm resting on. I'm homeward bound. Day by day, I'm a gain of ground. I've come too far to turn back now. testimony the Lord has brought me through the best is not behind me it's what I'm going to there is a payday coming I've broken worldly ties I will run you will run I will receive the prize I've come too far to turn back now I'm resting on I'm homeward bound day by day I'm a gain of ground. I've come too far to turn back now. I've come too far, I've come too far to turn back now. To turn back now. I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. I'm homeward bound. Homeward bound. Day by day. Day by day. I'm a gain of ground. I'm gain of ground. I've come too far. I've come too far to turn back. some brighter days I swear that love will find you in your pain I feel it in me like the beating of life in my veins I know there's gonna be some brighter days I know there's gonna be some brighter days Oh, ashes fall from burning dreams Never live through times like these Oh, if you're trying hard to breathe in the dark 
in the dark I know there's gonna be some brighter day yes, I, I swear that love will find you in your pain I feel it in me like the beating of life in my veins I know there's gonna be some brighter day I know there's gonna talk to you about hometown roots in Sebastopol, Mississippi. I've told you about their beautiful flowers and the fashion and the accessories, but something I haven't told you much about is that hometown roots offers floral arrangements for your church on Sunday mornings or Sunday nights or whenever you need it. Hometown roots will prepare and deliver church arrangements for any church in the area. They enjoy creating florals for Sunday morning, Sunday night revival, Uh, Whatever special event or occasion that you have going on, they can take care of that. I personally have used Kitty and Hometown Roots for different events at our church. If I need to decorate the stage or if we have something special that's happening, I can call Kitty and she helps me with that. And she's always done a fantastic job. So if you need any arrangement at your church, well, Hometown Roots is the place to call. That number is 601-625-7512. 601 625 7512. They would love the opportunity to create something for you or your church. When you use Hometown Roots, well, you're helping to spread the message of Jesus Christ through the best music in the world right here on the morning show. Hometown Roots, that's the kind of people that you want to do business with. child lying still on her bed not one breath and the life in her eyes when he touched her she woke with these words that he said live again child it's time to arise oh later on last died jesus wept for his friend he was moved by the crowds Rise. Then he spoke in a voice that no death could withstand. Let us come forth this time to arise. Oh, grave, where's your victory? Oh, death, where's your sting? You've been conquered by the Lord Jesus Christ. On that resurrection morning, like a bird on the wing. Time to arrive. Very soon the time. 
That's the Port City Quartet with Arise. Here's one that we play a lot here on the morning show, and it's by the group Authentic Unlimited. And in case you did not know, on Friday, the day that we celebrated 100 episodes, on that day, Authentic Unlimited released not one, but two brand new projects. One self-entitled Authentic Unlimited and one entitled Gospel Sessions Volume 1. You would enjoy both of those projects. They are well worth your while. You can get them anywhere that you download your music and I suggest that you do that. You will enjoy it. Here's Authentic Unlimited right now with Hold On. Well, 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 hold on, hold on. I know it won't, won't be long till we reach that city in the air. And always look up, look for my Savior, Savior coming back, hear the cloud. Well, trials and troubles in your daily routine can get you sidetracked if you know what I mean. But my Lord Jesus, he's mighty and strong. He can fix your troubles and it won't take long. Well, 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 well hold on, hold on. I know it won't be long till we reach that city in the air. He went to And always look up, look for my Savior, Savior coming back, hear the cloud. Well, Jesus left, but he'll be back one day. So until then, never cease to pray. He went to build a place for you and me. Where we'll live together for eternity. Well, 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 well hold on, hold on. I know it won't be long Till we reach that city In the air He went to prepare To prepare Well, 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 well Pray up Pray up And always look up Look for my Savior, Savior Coming back Hear the cloud Look for my Savior, Savior Coming back In the cloud Hey everybody this is Southbound, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. This is Keith from the oil fields of South Texas, you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. Music, ministry, and more. It's The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show. And now, with your patriotic point of view, here's Larry Gresset. Memorial Day, as Americans have come to know it, began in the years immediately following the Civil War. But until World War II, most people knew it as Decoration Day. It was a day to decorate with flowers and flags the graves of fallen soldiers and remember those who had given, as Lincoln beautifully said, the last full measure of devotion to defend their nation. It was a day to remember what the honored dead had died to defend. A century and a half have passed since Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox, effectively ending a national nightmare that filled over 625,000 American graves with dead soldiers. Since then, other international nightmares have ravaged the world and put more than 650,000 additional Americans into war graves in Europe, North Africa, the Pacific Rim, Asia, and the Middle East. But the importance of Memorial Day is more for our future than it is for our past. It is crucial that we remember the nightmares and why they happen. We forget them at our own peril. The future of the United States depends in large amount on how well we collectively remember 
and cherish what liberty is and the terror of tyranny. There is a high cost to forgetting. In the words of George Santayana's famous aphorism, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. I'm Larry Gressick with your Patriotic Point of View. The Patriotic Point of View was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 33 years, Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. Together, we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the best mix of Southern Gospel music, along with your patriotic point of view here on The Morning Show. It has been said that courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is being terrified and doing what's necessary in spite of the fear. This country was built on courage. Courage to stand. Courage to fight if needs be. Courage to rise up against socialism, against communism, against anything that goes against freedom. The fight was too hard. It was too long. It was too costly, and it is too important to let go now. So we stand, 
We never give in. We never back down. We hold firm to the red, white, and the blue. We pledge allegiance. We stand for the anthem. And we thank God to live in the greatest country on the face of the earth. take a moment to remember all of those who have fallen in the quest for freedom, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we could live our lives as we choose to live it with rights and liberty, pursuing happiness without the fear of tyranny or oppression, and life like that comes with a high price. Over 2.8 million casualties have given their life so that we may be free. And today we take a moment to remember, for those who wish to remain free must never forget how they became free. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses or stars of David. They add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Today we pray that those who lie here have found peace with their creator. And we resolve that their sacrifice will always be remembered by a grateful nation. The fallen give silent witness to the price of our liberty, and our nation honors them this day and every day. Never thought that this is where I'd settle down I thought I'd die an old man back in my hometown They gave me this plot of land Me and some other men For a job well done There's a big white house sits on a hill just up the road man inside he cried the day they brought me home they folded up a flag and told my mom and dad we're proud of your son and i'm proud to be on this peaceful piece of property i'm on sacred ground and i'm in the best of company I'm thankful for those, thankful for the things I've done. I can rest in peace. I'm one of the chosen ones. I made it to Arlington. I remember Daddy brought me here when I was eight. We searched all day to find out where my granddad lay. And when we finally found that cross He said, son, this is what it costs To keep us free Now here I am a thousand stones away from him He recognized me on the 
first day I came in And it gave me a chill When he clicked his heels and saluted me And I'm proud to be on this peaceful piece of property I'm on sacred ground and I'm in the best of company I'm thankful for those thankful for the things I've done I can rest in peace I'm one of the chosen ones I made it to Arlington And every time I hear 21 guns I know they brought another hero things we've done and we can rest in peace cause we are the chosen ones we made it to Arlington yeah dust to dust don't cry for us we made it to Arlington Here's what I like about the morning show. It's so patriotic. Makes me proud to be an American.
We're here to let the world know God's got a song. And it is the song of salvation through Jesus Christ and Him alone. And we will sing this song and we will play this song as long as we have breath in these bodies. And then the Lord will give us a new song, a song that only the redeemed can sing. And we will sing that song through all of eternity. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to The Morning Show. Some of these days when we reach heaven, where there will come no wrong. Hallelujah. Oh, what a day. What a day. What a day. That wonderful day will be. When the redeemed shall lift their voices, singing that glad new song in heaven. Oh, what a day, that wonderful day will be. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. there's going to be singing and shouting. Joy for the saints, for the saints, happy saints on the morning of the Jubilee. Just to put on a crown that's given and to walk around all over God's heaven. Oh, what a day, that a wonderful day will be. Heaven will be a little brighter if I may find you there. Hallelujah. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day that a wonderful day will be. Just to stand in that countless number, there will be joy to share. In heaven, oh, what a day, that a wonderful day will be. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. there's going to be singing and shouting. Under joy for the saints, for the saints. Happy saints on the morning of the Jubilee. Under Just to put on a crown that's given and to walk around all over God's heaven. Oh, what a day, that a wonderful day will be. Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. there's going to be singing and shouting. Joy for the saints, for the saints. Happy saints on the morning of the Jubilee. Under Just to put on a crown that's given and to walk around all over God's heaven. Oh, what a day, that a wonderful day will be. Good morning from the farm. We listen to you every morning as we feed the animals and we do our daily routines. Thank you for being a part of Life in the Barnyard. <laughs> All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. Listen to the top with the little birds singing and the melodies and the high notes ringing and the hoot owl cries over everything and the blackbird disagrees. Singing in the nighttime, singing in the day, and the little duck quacks and is on his way, and the otter hasn't got much to say, and the porcupine talks to himself. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone or wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. The dog 
birds and the cats they take up the middle while the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles the donkey brays and the pony neighs and the old great badger sighs listen to the bass at the one on the bottom where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus moans and groans with the big to do and the old cow just goes moo all god's creatures got a place in the choir some sing low and some sing higher some sing out loud on the telephone a wire some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. It's a simple song, a little song everywhere by the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear, the dobly alligator and the hog above, the sly old weasel and the turtle dove. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on the telephone wire. Just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Hey, we sure would love to hear from you this morning. We do have a text line at 769-240-6886. That's 769-240-6886. If you hear something you like, if you hear something you don't like, will you let us know? Or if you just want to let us know where you're listening from, we'd love to know that too. Send us a message on the fake book. We'd appreciate it if you would like or follow us on there. You can keep up with everything going on right here on The Morning Show. This one's by request going over to some folks in Alabama listening to The Morning Show. Been walking to a city I cannot see. Through the depths of the valley where the sun can't reach I've been high, I've been low I've been looking for the river that could fill my soul Been walking to a city I cannot see
Hey everybody, this is Southbound, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. The Morning Show, Nana. If there can be a God in heaven Every day we hear the skeptics wonder how Saying the Bible is outdated That there's no way to explain it And the evidence is nowhere to be found But I see it every time I look around Just emotion that I feel God is real I can remember who I was And now I'm who I am Because there's a living God Who came and made me new So I'll stay with Him forever And every We're glad you're listening this morning to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. You're listening to The Morning Show, and here's your pastor's perspective brought to you today by Dr. Tony Evans of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Dallas, Texas. You can turn from doing something and still be miserable. You can turn from doing something and still be unhappy. You can turn from doing something and still wish you were doing it. You can turn from doing something and something is still missing. Because you can turn from, watch this now, without returning to. You're going the wrong way on the highway and you recognize it. I'm going the wrong way. 
So you exit, but you got to get back on the other direction in order to be going the right way. The prodigal son, when he was rebelling and he wound up in a pig pen, he came to his right mind, the Bible says, and said, I have sinned. So he turned from the pig pen. But then he went on to say, I'm going to return to my father. I'm going to go back home. He could have left the pig pen and therefore not been with the pigs, but still been away from the father, just not in the pig pen. But he left the pig pen and then went to the father. So it's not enough to say, stop here, although that's the first part of it. It must be returning to a relationship. The Pastor's Perspective was brought to you by Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. Salem is my home church, and I'm thrilled that they've partnered with The Morning Show to help us bring you, well, not only the best music in the world, but encouragement and words of life straight from God's Word. Brother Larry Duncan and the entire congregation at Salem, they invite you to come and visit whenever you get the chance. We're located just a few miles off of I-20 coming through mid-Mississippi. So if you live in our area, if you're ever traveling through our area on a Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, well, you stop off the lake exit and visit with us. Thank you to Salem Baptist Church for bringing you your pastor's perspective. I mean like only I can do When I start thinking I'm so far from you I wake up to hear you whisper That's not true Well, good morning, mercy You call me worthy Feels like the sun shining on my face Living's good this side of grace I song gets better every time I hear it. Don't you love that? It's Jason Crow. Here's Master's Voice. Take him to the place 
place where you find the answers. Take them to the one who will meet you there. Take them to the source of the peace you're after. Take them, take them to the Lord in prayer. Darlene Gay. I listened from Lake Mississippi to the morning show. I enjoyed Southern Gospel music, and I think Natalie Duncan is, Emmons is doing a wonderful job. Everybody have a good day. I dream of a city called glory so bright So fair when I entered the gates, I cried holy. The angels all met me there. They carried me from mansion. To mention and all the sights I saw, but then I said, Take me to Jesus.
I talked with Mark morning show listeners it is contest time that's right miss natalie has started a brand new contest started a week or so ago and it will run until june 17th here's what you have to do right now southbound sings the morning show jingle the morning show with natalie the contest is you have to record that jingle it can be funny it can be serious You can record all the parts if you want. Make it a trio, a duet, a quartet. It doesn't matter. You know what you can win? Tell them what they've won, Johnny. Folks, you can win two luxurious pillows from MyPillow, a brand new CD from Southbound, an autographed vinyl record from Southbound, and a Southbound hat. That's all you have to do. You've got until June 17th. You can send it to the text line. That number is 769-240-6886. You can send it on Facebook or Fakebook, as Miss Natalie always says. Whatever you have to do, record it on your phone, singing the morning show with Natalie. 
get your entries in. You've got till June 17th, and Southbound will pick the winner. I hope it's you, folks. Hey, have a great day. Thanks for supporting Miss Natalie right here on The Morning Show. And as always, may the Lord richly bless you. Hey, everybody. This is Southbound, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. The Morning Show. Brothers, a good day coming on. I told you that the Taylors are our featured artists this week. We're excited about that. They're going to be here on Friday morning, and Friday is special for the Taylors because it is the release date of their new album called Love is the Voice. You're going to hear some songs from that album all week long on the morning show, and you can't hear it anywhere else until Friday. Here's one of those songs. Well, I'm here with a very special guest. She's been on before, and we've had her back today, my sister, Nicole Smith. Yeah, I'm glad to be here today. Nicole, we've been on before and talked about the pillows from my pillow. There's another product that I know you have. I have it. We both use it all the time, and I wanted us to talk about it today and, and give our opinion on the my pillow bath towels, the, the, the towels, the bath cloths, the hand towels. Do you and Jason use that product? Oh, yes, we do. We use the hand towels. We use all the bath cloths, towels. We got the whole set up. Well, tell me in comparison to what you've used in the past, what you think about the towel set. Well, one thing about it is is they're they're large. I mean, they're big towels. They're a not only just a soft towel, but it's almost like a lotiony feel type softness to their towels. Durability, they hold up great wash after wash. Uh, we've been very pleased with this product. Well, there's a very important 
the thing that I want to ask you about your towels. And this is maybe the most important thing. What color towels did you get? Oh, I went with a gray. Gray tends to go with about anything. Now, you can get any color you want. The color. Any color in the world. I'm just talking about. about they have a large selection of white. colors. Uh, white, we didn't go with white. Uh, Mighty just, hard to keep that It's clean. hard to keep it clean. But gray's got that airy, clean feeling, but with a little color to it. That was really the reason I went with that gray. I love that. Well, gray's that. a popular color, and you always in fashion. I try. Yeah. If you don't need a set of towels, they would make great graduation gifts. I mean, don't you think? They make great wedding gifts. They make great, great graduation, uh, birthday. And there's really not a gift that I can think of that a good set of towels wouldn't be appreciated. Everybody needs a good set. Is there a such thing as Sister Appreciation Day? No, but there should be. <laughs> there should be, because you know what I'd get you, Nicole? Towels. Towels. It wouldn't be gray, because you already got gray. No, go ahead and get gray so they'll all match. Okay. Well, you got a gray set coming for Christmas, for sure. Can't wait. Go on out to the MyPillow.com. Get you a set of these towels today. Use the promo code Natalie. We'd appreciate it. They'd appreciate it. MyPillow.com. N-A-T-A-L-I-E. is Kim Fultz. I'm requesting that you play He Sees What We Don't by 11th Hour. I hope this helps someone who's been having bad days and may not see an end to their pain. 
But remember, please, that our God sees the end from the beginning. Ministry and more. It's the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to the morning show, and now a few moments of laughter with the one and only Swanee, Dennis Swanberg. Oh goodness, I tell you, my daddy, he, I tell you, I, I was, I was in the back there of that church though, and I was trying to pay attention to the preacher, and the preacher was a preaching. And he was using that question, a rhetorical question that I didn't understand. I was just a little fellow, six, seven years old. He was using that question, what should we do with sin? 
He sort of sounded like Dr. Criswell, First Baptist Dallas. He's a little Criswellian. He, he was a kind of that old style preacher who said, What should we do with sin? <laughs> well, I was in the back with my buddies. My mom and dad were sitting up towards the front. I just sort of I looked around, and you know, you ought to see how y'all look sometimes. <laughs> You know, it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me in the least when people sleep during my sermons. Just keep your mouth closed. You know what I mean? Just sort of. I just, I mean, just, but. So I looked around. I thought, man, an adult ought to help this man. I mean, one of his own kind ought to come through for him. You know what I mean? No one did. I felt for the man. My heart went out to him. I didn't want to say anything out loud. It wasn't my culture to speak out loud in that particular church, so I just stood up and gestured to him, lip synced, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but he, he's not paying attention to me, you know what I mean? I'm just a little fella in the back. He just keeps right on. And we preachers usually repeat ourselves two or three times. Have you ever noticed that over in the ministry? That's why we never get through till about 12.05 on Sunday. <laughs> it's just part of our call. It's part of the call of God in our life. Sure enough, second time, he sort of cried it out. What should we do with sin? Sin. 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 Once again, my little heart I stood up this time. I, I didn't speak out loud, but I gestured again with greater gestures. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Only God knows. Don't ask us. Ask him. You know what I mean? It was just, my man, I was, get, I, was, I was trying to help the man. I said to myself, if he asked that, one more time. I am going to answer him in the voice of Don Knotts, old Barney Fife on the Andy Griffith show. I said, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I felt led to do. I, you know, when you got that little attention deficit disorder, your mind thinks about a hundred things. And that just sort of came to me and went, that is it. I will help this man. I will give him an answer. My parents won't know it's me. You know what's coming, don't you? It's coming. <laughs> but you know, when you are got that problem as a little fella, you, you think you're right on target, you know? <laughs> Your heart's pure. <laughs> and they shall see God, and sometimes more quickly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I said, I'm going to answer in the voice of Don Knotts, so Barney Fife, if he does it again, I'll help him. I will know, know about me. Everything will be happy. Sure enough, third time, he started whispering it. You know how we do as preachers. What should we do with sin? With sin? Sin. What should we do? I stood up. And in the voice of Don Knotts, I said, Nip it in the box.
thing we need the most is a good dose of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Just let His love unfold you. Then I know you'll see. Ready for eternity. He's getting me ready. For what's waiting down the road is getting me ready. The carriage is heavy load. Gonna see what Jesus has waiting there for me. Get me ready for eternity. about our friends over at J&L Farms. J&L Farms, they sell grass-fed beef. It's USDA certified and it's 100% grass-fed with no additives whatsoever. 
They sell steaks, that's ribeyes, T-bones, fillets, sirloins, New York strips, roast, hamburger meat. However you want your beef cut and packaged, well, that's what they can do for you. When you eat meat from J&L Farms, well, you're eating the cream of the crop, that's for sure. Have you ever noticed when you brown hamburger meat from the grocery store, how you start out with a certain amount of meat, but by the time you cook it, you're left with about half the meat you started with? Well, not the meat from J&L Farms. When my husband cooked our hamburgers using the meat from J&L, the baddies did not shrink up and the meat wasn't full of fat that just cooked away. Grass-fed beef is a healthy choice because it's leaner and it has significantly lower levels of saturated fat. It's also higher in vitamins and antioxidants. So for special requests for pricing and pickup locations, you need to call my friend Larry Mathis over at J&L Farms, 601-917-8063. Larry Mathis, 601-917-8063. Larry's the kind of guy that you want to do business with. I can guarantee you that. So be good to your heart and choose healthy, delicious, grass-fed beef. Been bound up tight, trouble and chains trying to stop my fight. Ain't nobody gonna go my bill. Old devil's jailer's right outside my cell. I'm not Silas, I'll never be Paul. But they found the only way to shake those walls. They didn't make a break.
My name's Angel, and I'd like to say what a blessing this station's been to me. I'd like to hear everybody's going through something by care. A particular project of theirs sparked my interest. I've asked my friend Larry Krim, who happens to be the chapter director of Hope Outdoors for our area, to come tell us what's going on over at Hope Outdoors. Take it away, Larry Krim. Good morning. Morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Uh, Larry Krim here from Forest, Mississippi. Uh, I'm the chapter director for Hope Outdoors, a national organization where we carry disabled people hunting and fishing. I got involved with this organization a few years back. As Christians, you know, we get the opportunity to, to get involved in missions, and God blessed me with this opportunity a few years back. But we're raising money to buy a wheel track chair. If you're interested in making donations to the Action Track Chair, you can make that to Hope Outdoors and mail it to 1415 uh, Ephesus Road. And we would just thank you for the opportunity to, to donate to this organization. Thank you. Have a good day. Well, we're asking you to be involved in what's going on over at Hope Outdoors. And I'd love for the morning show to be a part of getting that chair paid for. It's a truly worthy cause. I'd love for us to be a part. You can send those donations to Larry Krim at 1415 Ephesus Road, Forest, Mississippi, 39074. Or you can email Larry at LarryKrim at gmail.com, and he can tell you other ways to get the donations to him. We're on board, Hope Outdoors.
Grace Ain't Fair, the sweetest voices in all of gospel music. That's the Neelands. Wraps it up for us on this Memorial Day Monday. Hope you have a great day. If you're off work, enjoy the day. Spend some time with your family. If not, well, you can catch up this afternoon on the morning show, Take Two. And tomorrow, we're excited. We'll be announcing a brand new sponsor that's partnering with the morning show. We're tickled about that. So you can catch you this afternoon, or we'll see you in the morning, Lord willing. We are leaving you with the inspirations. Angels are looking o'er the rims of glory, watching over you and me. But Jesus is lighting the pathway that you and I might see. Just a few more days to travel, then he'll roll the clouds away. And I'll see Jesus, see my Lord, and hear him say, Enter in, enter in, my child, well done, my child, well done. Signing but climbing up higher to the cross, though at times it seems I'm failing. Christ never fails to remind me of the great homecoming where we'll sing in the Jubilee.